Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup second round match between Palladius and Neat Proxy. Um, this was this was one of the big games of the round really. Palladius entered three qualifiers and won them all. And uh, Neat Proxy beat Ducky in round one. Uh, Neat Proxy with a 74% win rate in Champs Ladder. Qualified from Ruby BL with Undead. Um, actually, Philadius won the toss and chose to kick in this match, which is surprising. Because, and I'll tell you why. I would always choose to receive in a bash mirror like this, just for the potential advantage in overtime of knowing how to manage my rerolls. It's a lot easier to manage rerolls on defense than offense. Um, so I was quite surprised that he kicked there. And Philadius has a 66% win rate, but had this incredible thing of. Three, uh, three qualifiers won. So, yeah, it's it's a funny old game this one because the the necro, the necro, the undead, are strong. You know, I think it's about fifty. It's 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 pretty close to fifty fifty matchup. Undead are a good team, but lizards are like pretty broken, aren't they? <laughs> and uh, basically, if they can if they can control the tackler. Which is, is what he's going for here, isn't it? Block Crocs. Block was his double. To do exactly this sort of thing. And uh, they both took, chose Block and strength by a pair. So yeah, that, that was pretty big. That he, he allowed the mummy to be blitzed. And the uh, tackler to be tagged by strength 5. So that's a pretty bad spot for knee proxy there. Straight off the bat. Isn't that? And you know, sure he's got his mummies to make strength 5 hits. 3 assist foul here. This, this could be huge. I didn't like it when I saw it, but um, you know, that had the potential to be just game winning, didn't it? Really did. Um, you know, Undead without a mummy it looks a bit crap. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, the, the Saurus can't, can't really stop getting punched by Mighty Blow. And then so it can go badly for them. But really, outside of the two mummies, the Undead don't have a whole lot else that's that good against Undead. Uh, against Lizardmen, so it, it's a very tricky, it's a tri Lizardmen are tricky for every, everybody, even the supposed good matchup um, that is that is Wood Elves is still really dodgy, it's it's not as skewed as everyone thinks it is, and as the stats say it is, when it's two good players, maybe if, maybe if like the Lizardman's a bad coach, uh, or you know, if, if it's like two average or below average coaches, maybe it favours the uh, what else more? But I think once once both coaches are quite good, I really don't think it favours the uh, what else that much. So you know he's knee proxy's in danger of getting his team cut in half here. Uh, but of course, the lizard man can only really do it with skinks. He's only got three up. Well, he's up, up, you know, so he can't really he can't really do it. And even if he did, he'd only have four skinks, which is super terrifying. But this would have been a horrific uh, kick against elves. Though of course, if he had he been elves, he wouldn't have been fighting all his strength, and he wouldn't have been, you know, battling for assists. He would have tried to pull it together, but it would have still been a tough kick against elves. The tackler does come into play now, again, okay. but mummy's being controlled. I like the mummy blitz. This is a pretty good blitz. Blitz there. Go down here. Can 2D him, 2D him. Get the get the tackler safe. Chain away the crocs. Very good. Don't want a cross blocking you, me. I don't like I don't like the basin so much because that is exposing him to a blitz. I think I would have maybe uh, you know kept him screened. I made him part of the ball screen or something. Maybe we've got the ball a bit closer than this. But he's in he's in no no need to rush forward yet with the ball. But I don't like having you know I don't like. Fighting with half of the team and caging with half the team. I know it's it's eight and three, but still, 
I'd rather be able to lend an assist with somebody and then protect the ball in a different manner or something. See, two dice is a ghoul with crocs. That's bold, isn't it? Very interesting decision. I think I would have, um, I would have blitzed this mummy and then just blocked the uh, tackle. Tackle guy risking. Block mummy showing his worth. Again. Runs back again. So yeah, you know he's he's aware of how fast because uh, skinks can swarm. Like you know, if you go if you, if he was to have gone forward last turn, maybe all the skinks would have run through the backside. You don't know. So I guess he wants to hang back and wait till he, he can hopefully get a man advantage. Blitzing the croc with tackle instead of a skink. But there you go, if that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do, isn't it? Yeah. It's a positional, positional advantage, so he's... This is weird, isn't it? Because <laughs> his team is in just two lines, and that's not looking good, is it? Sora's moseying up forward to a bit of pressure. Huge bonehead actually. It was that huge he used one of his four rerolls. Um on the on the loner. And okay he would have had four rerolls for four turns, but still. I, li I like the reroll on it. I, I think I would have rerolled it was a pretty big loner. So now this is this is this is a pretty big turn because I say you blitz this this Saurus and you know push forward here. He doesn't, he blitzes a skink. Which I just think the positional blitz is to hit the Saurus, isn't it? Or possibly even go the other way in the cage here, but I think the kind of easy way is to blitz the Saurus for sure. So that was a bit a bit kind of greedy. And then he goes for a handoff. Bit wild, bit wild there going for a handoff, um, and yeah, he gets himself into a little bit of a pickle here. It's not terrible. It's not going terribly for him, but look how much better it would have been if he just powered this this Saurus, and then he would have had all players around here, and it would have it would have looked a lot nicer than you know, it could be a one dice block from a Saurus and. Let's pause it for a second here. Let's pause it for a second. So, you know, he, he could just make two dodges. Um, block here and then another dodge. So three dodges he could get two dice in the ball. Or he could block there and if he gets a pow, it only fails on a one. And if he gets a pow, he's an assist. If he gets a push, it doesn't do anything though. So that, that, that one's non-obvious. Whereas the dodges are obvious to get uh, to get two dice on the ball. Now, does he want to make three two-plus dodges? Three three-plus dodges to hit the ball? Who knows? Um, I bet he can block away one of them. So now he's got to make two two-plus... Two, two three-plus dodges for two dice on the ball. Um, he's got the option of that anyway. Or he could make this block first. Which might, might change things, might not. And then what happened at this point was... Knee Proxy's laptop... Um, crashed. So, Falladius got the admin win, and it's a harsh thing for the admins to deal with, isn't it? Because who's to say, you know, it wasn't, it was an inconclusive half, wasn't it? Yes, Knee Proxy was in the position to get his ball carrier blitz, possibly, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't like obviously what was going to happen. I don't think he would have, you know, conceded and feigned a, a laptop crash I, you know I think it was genuine a genuine disconnect uh, personally but you know who cares what I think you know um, at the end of the day it only matters what the admins think and or the runners of the tournament or whatever and what decisions made is made um, 
you know, I think, I think personally, which again, I'm just a guy on the internet, I don't matter at all. I think Felidius winning was the only option there, but you've got to feel sorry for knee proxy, haven't you? I mean, what a way to go out, your laptop crashes and, and you're just out of the World Cup after beating Ducky in the first round, so you know got a feel for the guy that that really sucks doesn't it he, he'll be one of two undefeated players as well at the end of the world cup but he's he's gone out in the second round so yeah horrible horrible for knee proxy there um but you know on the bright side he may well have lost to Philadius even if he got to play out you know obviously Philadius won three qualifiers and he he wasn't in control of that drive but he also wasn't out of control of it. You know, it was still 50-50 and, you know, you can lose any game of blue ball anyway, but, yeah, man, that re really sucks, doesn't it, go out like that? But uh, it is what it is and, and what can anyone do about it at the end of the day? It's, it's a shame there's not a reconnect feature in Blood Bowl 2, but there isn't. Um, so, you know, that's, that's what they've gone with. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.